Welcome to the first of these short films which will give you the chance to see what's going on behind the scenes at Bloodhound. Today is particularly exciting as it's the day the first part of the rear chassis will be made. Until now the car has only existed in the computer, but later today we'll hopefully be able to hold a piece of it in our hands. The part will be made at Hampson Aerospace in Wigan. They have a highly skilled team who manufacture a wide variety of high-tech metal parts using some very specialist equipment. First, I met program manager Ian Gaskin. He explained how the part made today would be used in the car. The sill bulkhead that we're machining today fits in between the inner and outer structure of the lower frame assembly. Both outer and inner skin will be riveted to the bulkhead. It minimises what we call the panting effect down the length of the skin. Basically stops it fluctuating in and out. Dave Charlesworth and Martin Lamb are manufacturing engineers. They take the 3D models from the engineers in Bristol and prepare them for the big CNC machine. The first part of the process is the Bloodhound engineering team would send us a 3D model. Uh, the 3D model uh, then goes to a, a programming house called uh, Javel. Uh, Javel then um, look at how they would manufacture the part then they send uh, a concept through, which is what we can see on the screen at the moment. And so what, what this is, is a replication of the machine table. The part, parts machined out of the, the center and all this material around the edge is all uh, surplus material. Uh, right, my part of the process, we get the program from Javel, seen here on the left, and I simulate it to see if it's safe to run on the machine. Uh, failing to do this, it would cost uh, 25000 for a new spindle, <laughs> so we'd like to be sure. Once Martin sets the simulation running, it goes through every action that the machine itself would perform. The different colours show the different cutting tools used, and a mistake would be shown in red. Thankfully there aren't any this time, and we can move on to the shop floor. Hi, I'm Steve Dutton. I'm in charge of proving out programmes and machining for the Bloodhound project. Um, I set up the jobs, run the machines, and uh, hopefully we get a good part at the end of it. The machine is installed with a standard set of cutting heads, which it can mount by itself. Occasionally other jobs may require less common tools to be fitted, and that's what you can see here. The part needs to be flipped over at the halfway stage so that the other side can be cut. As the CNC machine has two heads, Steve can mount or reposition one bit while another is being cut. And this is the finished part, produced from a solid billet in less than an hour. After having looked at 3D models for so long, it's great to finally see this beautifully machined piece of the car. It won't be long now before the duplicates are done, then Hampsons can move on to machining the next parts of the rear bulkhead, and fabricating the titanium and aluminium panels which will be attached to it. It's at this point that we'll start to see the car growing from the ground up, and I'm really looking forward to it. See you then. Thanks for watching.